Yo! It's every day, bro. I'm just kidding. But today it's gonna be all about Jake Paul's charisma. What's up, Jake Paul Biz? If you're new to this channel, this is my business channel where I talk about social media, growing your business, raising money from investors, things like that. And today I'm going to be talking about Right. Okay, so the first charisma tip that you can take from Jake Paul is that when he's describing things, he'll put things in lists and then he'll just list, keep listing off things, but he does it in this kind of engaging way. So it'll be like, he's talking about sports, he'll be like, yeah, man, I like soccer, basketball, football, hockey, you know, whatever. He just keeps coming up with things. Um, and that's something you'll actually see in another clip as well that he's doing. And it's like, that's super effective for whenever you're talking about something to keep the listener engaged. If you're like going fast and you're just listing things, it keeps the other person focused. Wait, what, what's our new thing, bro? <laughs> Teamwork dab. Oh! We drop one of these secrets. Drop some knowledge, bro. <laughs> 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 knowledge. Cool, so why don't we just hit it with like five tips? All right, five tips. Five, okay. These are five, five tips to grow your social media audience. Okay. Number one, Wait. consistency. You got to keep on posting no matter what, all the time, every day, twice a day, three times a day, whatever it is, gotta post a lot of content. And that goes for all platforms. Whew. So this is getting uh, pretty real right now. We are on our way to the wedding chapel. How do you guys feel? You got your ring? Sure do. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> you know Chance, I was thinking and bro, you're gonna have to delete your tin. Guys, on a jet, wheels up, back to LA. And guys, if you want to uh, follow along with more like private jet stuff, you can follow at Wheels Up. They're the ones giving us this flight. That, that's my boys. Always plug, shameless, but for real. Well, the second thing that I want you to notice is notice all the cutting in his videos. Like in one of that, that second clip that I showed you where he's getting on the plane, he's literally saying one thing at a time in each cut. And the purpose of that is because he's a vlogger, he has to literally just make his life entertaining. Like whatever he's doing, he has to say entertaining stuff and basically constantly either be being funny, ridiculous, saying something stupid, like whatever it is. But that is part of the charisma, right? So it's like basically saying things that are constantly like surprising the audience and getting their attention. That's a big part of being charismatic is really where the person's focus is going. Like if you're able to capture their attention, that's something that makes other people want to listen to you rather than get but get bored by your words. And if you're selling a product, you need to do this. Now, but it will be worth it, guys. Go do it. Go kill it. Content products are the same thing nowadays. Let's go, Jake Paul Biz. I will see you next week. Thing is do not burn any bridges. I cannot stress how important this is and it's easy to get like upset with people in business or whatever it is that you're doing. Don't burn bridges at all. Like you never know when that person is gonna come back into your life or what I notice is in these last clips, this is from Jake Paul's business channel or whatever that um, he was doing like a year ago apparently. But in this, like he has to offer more serious tips and like be more just like normal, less like just ridiculous and like random to get people's attention and just doing crazy stunts. Um, but in that you can see when he's describing something to the, to the viewer, he still is like using his hands and he's trying to engage you. Like he's like, this is how you do a product, right? Like whatever, however he's describing things, but he's using his hands and he's trying to get you like, get you engaged and involved in like whatever the thing he's describing or like using his hands with emphasis to get your attention. I think that's another thing that can be charismatic, but obviously when it's overused, um, it loses effectiveness. Yo, <laughs> like I said, good morning, Jake Paulers. It is about to go and down. If y'all are new here, I'm Jake Paul. You guys are the Jake Paulers and it's lit every single day. Bro, allow me to explain what is about to go now. More, less, hot, hot, good. Tastes like your breath. Oh, shut up. What are you gonna say? I said, oh, you're beautiful. And that's what I thought. <laughs> Jake. Your espresso shot. Oh, the blowback. Oh, oh dude. Oh. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> All right, so there you go in that last clip with him in the espresso shot and the blowback. The other guy's like, oh, oh my God. That gets your attention, right? Like when you're seeing that in the video, you're like, it makes it more interesting. You want to keep watching because he's putting those clips in there where like ridiculous stuff's happening. Or, um, you know, he's doing like ridiculous stuff with his personality or like making jokes or like making the different noises, like the dabbing and like whatever he's talking about. So I want you to notice those things in his vlogs because that's that's really one of the secrets to I really think like what sets him apart from any other person like trying to come up in the vlogging world or something like that. 
um, you know, both the Paul brothers are very good at catching attention and being entertaining. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe. And if you don't want to miss out on more of my new content, definitely hit that subscribe button because these charisma videos are going to be dropping two times a week. Let's do it.